Hi everyone, I am Shavan Kumar from CSE department of Ace Engineering College. Today I am going to demonstrate how to install Ubuntu software on our system. Ubuntu is an open source uh, licensed operating system which we can download it for free from any browser. Here I have searched Ubuntu download from the Chrome browser. If we click on the first link which is appearing here, we will be redirected to the ubuntu.com slash downloads website. From here we can download the Ubuntu OS. Here we have two options to download the Ubuntu, Ubuntu desktop and Ubuntu server. Now click on Ubuntu desktop and click on the 22.10 which is the latest version of the Ubuntu. When you click on the 22.10 which is the latest version of Ubuntu, you will be redirected to the download window and it will be saved as a disk image file which is an ISO file. Now extract the downloaded ISO file into a USB device using the Rufus software. Before we proceed to install the Ubuntu software on system, please check the free space left on the system and also check the partition style of the system. To check the free space on the system, open file explorer, right click on this PC, click on show more options, then click on manage. Click on the disk management. Here the 60 GB unallocated space is the free space left on my system. Now to proceed the, towards the installation of the Ubuntu software, insert the USB device into the system in which you have loaded the Ubuntu software. Now I am going to insert this USB device into this PC. After you insert your USB device to the PC, turn on your system and keep pressing the boot key. In most of the systems, it is F12 key and the system will open the boot menu. In boot menu, select the USB device in which you have copied the Ubuntu software and hit enter button. Now select try or install Ubuntu. Now select install Ubuntu. This is the first step to install the Ubuntu software. Select the language as English and click on continue. Now click on I don't want to connect to a Wi-Fi network right now and then click on continue. Now select normal installation and then click on continue. This is the most crucial installation step. Now click on something else for the custom installation. Then click on continue. This is the most crucial step in Ubuntu installation. Here we have to create the three partitions for Ubuntu software. Click on the free space. Then click on plus button to create the boot partition. Select the mount point. Then click on boot to select the boot partition. Give a size for the boot partition. Here I am giving the size as 1 GB that is 1024 MB. Click on OK. Now boot partition is created. Here ext4 represents Linux partition and ntfs represents Windows partition. Now we have to create the swap partition. Click on free space then click on plus button. Then click on use as and select swap area. Here we have to give the size of swap area which is the double the size of your RAM. For example, if your system consists of 4GB RAM, then give 8GB as swap area partition. Here my system consists of 12GB RAM, so I am giving 24GB as size for the swap area. Then click on OK. Now swap partition is created. Now we have to create the root partition. Click on free space, then click on plus button, then click as mount point and select the slash as root. Then select the size in which you want to custom or the remaining size will be allocated to the root partition. Then click on OK. Now we have created the three partitions. We have created the boot partition, created the swap partition and we also created the root partition. Now click on install now to proceed towards the installation of Ubuntu. Now select the root partition which we have created for Ubuntu. Then click on install now to proceed towards the installation of Ubuntu. Now select the root partition which we have created for the Ubuntu, then click on install now. Click on continue. Click on your territory and click on continue. Now provide the user credentials and then click on continue. This is the final step to install the Ubuntu process. Click on restart now to restart your computer.
the installation process of Ubuntu is completed. Hello, this is Abhishek from Computer Science Department. I am going to explain about software installation in Ubuntu. First, let us see how to install C software. First, open terminal. Then type sudo space apt space install gcc and enter. Now it will ask an password. Now type password as aceec. The process is getting. Finally, installation is completed. To check version, type GCC version. Now you can check the version. It is 11.3.0 version. Now, now we will see how to install Python. So, type sudo space apt space install space python and click on enter. Now let us see how to install java. So type sudo space apt space install space open jdk-8-jre-headless. Iphone iphone jre iphone headless. Now press enter and here password enter your password own password which you have created long back. Press Y. Java installation is completed. To check the Java version, type Java space iPhone version. Press enter. Now you can see 1.8.0352. It's a version of Java which you have installed now.